Look, keep lifting, Mac. Keep lifting, Mac. Whoa! Look at the side of that, Mac! Look at the side of that! Holy cow! Look at this, the On today's Sportsman's Adventures, we travel back to the beautiful Bahamas and in search of the one big fish that has continued to elude our cameras for more than 16 years. Yes, we're going dolphin fishing, and yes, we're going to try again to catch a decent-sized dolphin. If you've been a loyal viewer, then you probably remember some adventures where we came really close. Back a little bit. All right, here it comes, right here. Get under the boat. What happened? My gaff man missed oh, it again. No, 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 he no, had no, a chance. No, you no, saw no, him. No, 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 got it right on video. No, 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 no. Don't blame me. Big dolphin. I want to still. <laughs> Let me tell you what that is. That's Dolphin 1400. <laughs> Boys Miss Adventures. Hero. <laughs> April in the Bahamas is the best time to target big dolphin. So we called our friend Ian Rademacher. Ian owns Harborside Marine in downtown Nassau. He loves to fish and really keeps close tabs on what the bite is and where the fish are. We're also joined by the president of Rapala, Tom Mackin. Tom has never caught a decent dolphin either, but with the help of the new Rapala and Williamson lures that he's brought along, Maybe our luck will finally change. Mac. How about that? All right, Dolphin I'm Mac. Mac. I'm going to reel up close to your guy and see if he's got anybody with him. We have literally been here three minutes. And Max got a dolphin on. Now, the cool thing about coming over to the Bahamas to go dolphin fishing is that in most cases, because you don't have the ability to get live bait, you're gonna bring a bunch of lures. And that's why we brought Mac in, because Tom's the president of Rapala, but that also means he runs Williamson and VMC and all the other companies that uh, Rapala owns. So it's really, really neat to be able to have the lure man Bringing the lures. Um, he had man, one job, and that was yeah, make sure you bring lots of stuff. In. Exactly. Oh, they, walleyes don't fight like this back no? in Minnesota. No, they don't. Uh, walleye is something that they would use for bait in the Bahamas there, Max, <laughs> exactly. if they could get them, you know? Exactly. I bet they would this be a good skip bait, you know, for the blue marlin. They would be a very good skip bait. Did you get a look, a look at this fish? Yeah. Looks pretty good. Nice schooly fish, you know? Now, I can tell you, Mac, some of the favorite colors for these guys that we hear in a lot of the fishing reports are, you know, the blue and white, the pinks. I, this one's pink, I believe. Yeah. And then also they like the green and yellows, golds. Well, this is yellow. Yeah, Ian is put a red and black one on for me over on that other side. and. You know, they like when they like everything, but they do, they, I think, have their favorite they colors. They kind of like the, the brighter, lighter colors. Right. Oh, sorry, this is the yellow and orange. But the, uh, the black and the red, what that does early in the morning is it actually will silhouette a little bit more light because it does have dark in it, you know? So we'll see throughout the day what color seems to be the favorite. Right, Ian? Correct. When we get this fish in the boat, what do you want to uh, put him in this box here? Yeah, we're going to stick him down in here. All right. I've got ice and everything in there. This guy's uh, bringing his friends with him. He got his friends with him? Too. Right there? Right I there. See, you I can see film him, him eating this bait. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. 
Look at that. Yeah, there's you a big it? one right there, man. You see that goggle eye come running up and try to hide underneath those yellow eyes, man? Yeah, Watch, look at this other one out here beside you. Excuse I was going to say, there's one that's a, there's one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I whoa. think I got a bite. I think you do. <laughs> here we go. Wow. Watch this fish jump, Mac. Look at that. Oh, nice. And then goggle eyes up the line. I'm gonna nice. get us. I'm gonna get another one's gonna eat my goggle eye. Hopefully he doesn't cut me off. <laughs> oh my god. Nice fish. That's so cool. <laughs> hey Matt. Welcome to the Bahamas! <laughs> <laughs> I like being here, buddy. This is cool. And see why Ian's my favorite man uh, yeah. in the Bahamas? Yeah, this didn't take him too long. Look, did it? Ian's gonna catch one here. We're gonna have a triple on in a <laughs> We're second. We're gonna have a triple going in just Woo. a minute. Look at the watch watch this, Mac. Watch it, watch Ian throwing his goggle eye. There we go. Watch this. Bam! Oh, oh, nice fish. <laughs> That's phenomenal. That is there we go. Triple! Oh, Ooh, there's a big fish out there. There's a big one. Oh. What was that? That almost looked like a marlin. Trying to eat our yeah. dolphin. That'd be okay, too. That'd be all right. Now, look, if you were in the States, Matt, or even here, what you would do is the most well, we're recent- surrounded by dolphin here. Or the least fish that's caught, you want to leave him in the water. You would want to pull yours out because you've had yours yeah. on the long, yeah, so yeah. he doesn't have anything to regurgitate and keep chumming for. Yeah, right. Versus mine. Oh, careful, careful. It's, all right. it's all right. If we get tangled, okay. we just put our rod tips together. You want to let me know when we're ready to start gaffing? Uh... You know what? Mark, you want this me to bring is too him up? fun just to hurry. It's great. This is really cool. Now, Ian, what you don't know, let me switch sides with you, is the nemesis of Sportsman's Adventure. 16 years of being on the air, we never caught a dolphin over about 15 pounds. Wow. So well, I think we're going to change, change that record today. Look at how beautiful this fish is. We got, we got a real big bull out here. That's a big fish. Nah. That's a 30, 40 pound fish out here. Watch how I do this. Watch. Oh, look at this. Oh, this. Oh. Hey, Rick, I think you should try and get that fish in. I'll get mine in. And, no and problem. Let's, let's, there's a big one out here. Okay. Nice. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. We've been free for four right here. minutes. Don't go over, buddy. No. All right. Now I get to do the favors for you. Go ahead and cut it back. There's a big fish out here too. Whoa! Look at the colors on that fish, That's a man. Great fish. That is a beautiful fish. Well offshore, we settle down for the hours ahead. Hour after hour of waiting and watching baits. As we troll, we relax, enjoying the vast waters. Always alert. Marlin! He's after the bait on the port rigger. Get the rod and the gimbal, George. He's hitting it. Snap out the line, Bill. Strike! Lean into that rod, George. Man, he'll go 600 pounds if you'll go an ounce. He's going down, straight down and deep. That's it, back down the boat. Here comes the leader wire. Let's move in fast. Time to finish this thing off. Watch that sword. No baby to play around with. Yes, George, he was plenty big. Homeward bound. Moments to remember of our team's tussle with the mighty blue. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Florida, the fishing capital of the world. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Rapala, Williamson Lures, Maverick Boats, Minn Kota, Humminbird, La Jolla Resort, Power Pole, Swift, Silent, Secure. So, which one are you thinking about? I can't decide between Sumo and Gladiator. Well, Sumo has incredible balance thanks to his low center of gravity. Although, you can't go wrong with Gladiator. No one is braver or stronger than he is. I think you should choose Gladiator. I'll take Sumo. Rapala, Extreme Action X Rap. Extreme Netmen sold separately. Why is Yamaha your best investment? Just ask charter boat captain and tournament angler George Mitchell. 
No matter where I fish, I know I've got the strongest, most reliable outboard there is. For 25 years, Yamaha's innovative technology has produced the best outboards in the water. Tournament after tournament, win after win, the Yamaha F350. Power, reliability, and fuel efficiency. Yamaha, because your best investment starts right here. Fish are going to need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird. Simply, clearly, better. The new Riptide SF from Minn Kota. Its ruthless new mount features an anodized aluminum mono arm with uncompromising strength. A counter tension stabilizer with no play and no give for whisper quiet operation. And lift assist for effortless stow and deploy. But it doesn't just sound tough, it's battle tested to help you tear through everything from heavy chop to corrosive salt water. Riptide SF, the assault on salt has begun. I'm Captain Rick Murphy, and when I'm in the Florida Keys, I stay at the La Jolla Resort in Isla Mirada, a place for families and fishermen. The La Jolla is located on the bay at mile marker 82.2 and has easy access to the Everglades. The flats of Isla Mirada and the offshore reefs are just minutes away. The La Jolla Resort has great dockage, boat ramps, barbecue pits, and swimming pools. So whether your group is small or large, the La Jolla can take care of all your needs. Oh, well, it's not that small. He's growing. Ian Rademacher is no stranger to sportsman's adventures. He has put us on an awesome tuna bite, <laughs> and he's got a grouper hole you won't believe. <laughs> oh. Ian's business, Harborside Marine, is located right on the water in downtown Nassau. It's one of the finest and best-stocked boating and fishing stores we've ever found. Our special guest for this adventure is Tom Mackin. Tom is the president of Rapala, and with the snow still on the ground at company headquarters in Minnesota, it wasn't too hard to convince Tom to join us in the Bahamas. All right, Ian, here we go. Number three of the triple. Here we go. Whoa! Look at the colors on that fish, That's a man. That's fish. That is a beautiful fish. Man, he is certainly beautiful. All right, so what do we got a hook in that fish? Okay. Nice fish. Good job, Ian. We got another fish on over here. Run! <laughs> oh, this is a good one. That looks like a good fish. All right, my man. It's a serious school of fish that we're in here. Let's let's troll around yeah, no once problem. we get this. Do whatever one. we want. Yeah. I'd have to tighten the bag in this guy. He's going to go all the way to Cuba. Mac, what's the biggest dolphin you ever caught? I think I just got it. That is a monster, Yeah, it's Mac. a big fish. I just saw him jumping and he looked like a marlin. Yeah, that's what I thought it was at first. I'm gonna try and get him behind the boat. Okay, that's fine. Mac. You see that guy? I saw this dolphin jumping and he's well into the upper 30s, maybe 40, so hard, he was jumping. Taking a line and he was running 150 yards, going away like a buck that's been shot at, you know? It was unbelievable. Wow. I mean, Ian actually thought it might be a, a marlin at one moment. I know it. Now, you see that big flight of birds down there, Mac? And it doesn't matter where you are in the world. When you see birds like this, and you can see how they're just kind of circling. They're staying with that school of dolphins. They do the same thing with tunas, but generally with tunas, because they move so fast, the birds are moving a lot fast to try to stay ahead of tunas. The dolphin are just in all of this sargassum weed here, and so it's just a big, big school of fish, acres and acres of, of fish right here. 
So that's the way you usually know the difference between the tunas and the, and the uh, dolphin is because the birds are not moving and covering as much ground as they would when they're dolphin fish. So, so it's really, really kind of a cool little trick. That's a very cool trick. And you know, with those, as soon as we came into these weeds, that's where the fish were too. Yeah. Well, that's why you got Ian, you know? Ian, that's his job. That's his job. He's to stay good. on top of these fish for all the guys at Sportsman Adventure and <laughs> yeah. the president of Williamson and Rapala. That was his job. We've been talking on the phone literally every day leading up to coming over here last night. And he, I mean, every day he's telling, here's where they are, here's where they're gonna go. <laughs> you know, that's one of the things that's so neat about having a guy who is local to knowledge. Look at the dolphin underneath those birds right there, Mac. You can see the birds, I mean the dolphin, crashing on the surface underneath the birds. Absolutely. See it? See yep, it? That's see actually him. one big school of dolphin. Wow. You'd almost think it was a bonita or a tuna, but I see dolphin coming out of the water there. Wow. You should get another bite in the water, man. Well, we will. We'll let you catch this one, and then I want to troll some lures through here. I want to put one of those ballyhoo lures on, the Williamson ballyhoo lure with the skirt. And what that might do is by going to something that's this big, we might be able to eliminate some of these 15 pound bites and you know catch the big, 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 the big bowls, right? This is obviously the fish you want to catch on that lure. He's big enough to eat a big lure, you yeah, know? Absolutely. Let's go ahead and slide on back to the back there, bud. Lift him right when he's close like that, but one more circle, Matt. Yeah, keep hang lifting, hang keep lifting. Here we go, here we go. I'm coming keep in. lifting. Oh, yeah. he's going come, hang come closer, come closer. Hang this Conservation Minute is brought to you by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Let's talk about boating safety. It's really great to get out on the water, but did you know that hundreds of people are killed every year in boating accidents? Most of them drown during an accident that happens while fishing or returning from a fishing trip. But there's really an easy way to make sure that doesn't happen to you. Wear a life jacket. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission has kicked off a new boating safety awareness campaign called Wear It Florida. Now I know what you're thinking, how am I going to be able to fish with a big bulky life jacket on? Well that problem has been solved. This inflatable belt pack is comfortable, lightweight, easy to wear and easy to forget that you even have it on until you're in the water and need it. These life saving belts will help you concentrate on catching fish and make sure you'll be able to come back and do it again tomorrow. Log on to myfwc.com website and click on Wear It Florida to learn more and spread the word to your boating friends. At Contender. We've specialized in building high-performance, top-quality, custom-made boats for more than 25 years. Contender has redefined what a fishing boat can be, and we are committed to producing the finest fishing boats in the world. And there has never been a better time to get a great deal on our entire line of Contender boats. Be sure to check out our new generation T models, the 27, 31, and 33, all available with optional forward seating. We're looking forward to welcoming you into the Contender family of boats. Patented in 2000, perfected over years of testing and real-world punishment, the PowerPole is the ultimate shallow water boat positioning tool. Swift, PowerPole deploys in seconds from anywhere in your boat. Virtually silent, PowerPole won't spook wary fish. Secure in strong current or gusting winds in up to eight feet of water. Engineered to take it with a lifetime unconditional replacement guarantee on the spike. PowerPole, swift, silent, secure. Visit PowerPole.com to find a dealer near you. I've been fishing all my life and seen some pretty cool things on the water. I've seen 180 pound tarpon jump in my boat. I've seen giant snook slam live bait. And I've also seen super shallow redfish I can easily pull to. I've seen a lot and a lot has changed except my boat builder, Maverick Boat Company. Make no mistake about it, Maverick makes the best technical polling skiffs, high speed backcountry skiffs and bay boats in the world. Hughes, Maverick or Pathfinder, number one for a reason. Hey there. Like your extreme net man? I love my sumo. How about you? Yeah. Wizard net man's awesome. Well, see you out there. Rapala. Extreme action X Rap. Extreme net men sold separately. Has your Florida fishing or hunting license expired and you need it renewed now? No problem. The FWC has several services that will allow you to buy your license instantly. No matter where you are, in the woods or on the water, all you need is a major credit card. For a small additional service fee, you can purchase these licenses directly online 
or simply by calling a toll-free number. To get your instant license online, log on to myfwc.com or call toll-free 1-888-FISH-FLORIDA or 1-888-HUNT-FLORIDA. Why is Yamaha your best investment? Just ask Captain Buddy LaPointe. In the charter business, I can't afford downtime. My Yamaha 150 four-stroke is the most dependable, trouble-free outboard I've ever run. This clean-burning, quiet, fuel-efficient Yamaha four-stroke is the most versatile outboard in the Yamaha lineup. So invest in the best, the clean, quiet, dependable Yamaha F-150. Yamaha, because your best investment starts right here. right here, Rick. Okay, we're good. Yeah, he's just flat down there, isn't he? Yeah. That fish is tired, though. Here he comes. There you go. Go on that? Oh, yep, yep. Come this okay, way now. Bring your, bring your line out here. Wine, wine that. Back up a little. <laughs> okay, Ian, get ready, bud. <laughs> One more circle, Ian. Just wait, 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 wait. Uh, this time. Wait. Uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, 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 okay. All right, come on this side, Mac. Because he's hooked in this right-hand corner. He'll do right turn. Now we got him. He won't be able to do that circle like that. Now we got him. Keep backing up, Mac. Whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stay to your left, Max. Stay left, pull left. Okay, well, okay, he's all right now. Yeah, he's going this way. Ian, come on, man! You gotta get him closer. I know. Back up, Max. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Let me just get him. I'll get him up here. Just add a little extra pressure with your fingers on that. No. Pull right. I'm not going right. I'm not, I'm not to do that on this pool. I've lost fish doing that. I don't want to do that on this one. Back up. Hang on, Murph. I'll get him. He's coming. Okay, he's coming. I can't bear to watch. <laughs> I can't bear to watch. Okay. <laughs> I do the pick a boot like you used to do when you were a kid. Look through your fingers. Okay. Good job. Wind down, Mac. Try to lift him right when he's close like that, though. One more circle, Mac. Yeah, keep right, lifting, keep lifting. Right, keep here lifting. we go, here we go. I'm coming in. Keep lifting. Oh, yeah. he's going to hang on. Come closer, come closer. Hang on. That fish is tired. He's going to circle back to the left, Ian. Wait till he turns left and then whack him. Hang on, hang on. Gotta get him closer. I know. Oh, boy. We'll get him close. We're getting there. That's a big fish. Okay, here he comes. Look, keep lifting, Mac. Keep lifting, Mac. Whoa! Look at the side of that, Mac! Look at the side of that! Look at this, and that's a dolphin oh right there. The curse has been broken. Oh, <laughs> All right. Oh. Wow, man, that's a dolphin right there. That is a dolphin. That is a dolphin. Wow. 
That is a ball. Get in there. That's a photo if I've ever seen it. Oh, oh my God. God. Ian. Where's it going, buddy? That's the big fish master right here, man. You want to catch a big fish, come to the Bahamas. Oh. Wow. That is a beauty. Good God. Yo. Something else. Hey, nice if they work. get any bigger, we're going to need a bigger boat. We're going to have to go to 33 or 36. Oh. They don't get too much bigger than this. Well, well, finally, after 15 years and half a dozen dolphin TV shows, we finally got our fish, and it was well worth the wait, 65 pounds. Thank you, Tom Mackin, and thank you, Ian Rademacher, for breaking our jinx in a very, very big way. It truly was a great fish caught by great friends on a great boat. What better ingredients for making another great sportsman's adventures. And stay tuned for next week's adventure. We'll be bouncing the bottom with lures and jigs. It's part two from the beautiful Bahamas. Check out the Sportsman's Adventures website at www.sportsmansadventures.com. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. Look, look at that. Look at him, Matt. That is huge. <laughs> big time, big boys and big fish. That's what Ian is all about. Holy moly. That's what Ian is all about. That's right. Sportsman's Adventures was brought to you by Contender Boats, Costa Del Mar, See What's Out There, ARCD Hookers, Trigger X, Suffix Lines, Hook and Tackle Sportswear, Loop Reels, The Fish Grip, Get Your Best Grip, Lumber Rock, The Last Deck or Dock You'll Ever Buy, Ameritrail, Custom Trailer Manufacturers, and by Screen Print Plus, when image matters.